Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Scorched Earth video. It's been quite a while since we've made a video. You know, life happens, we get real busy. But I just wanted to share with you guys a project that had been sitting for quite a while and I finally had the opportunity to get back on it and make a little progress. So I call this thing the foundation of terror. Basically, it's a, as you can see, it's a foundation to sit a terror drone. It fits really snug in this uh, in this position here. But uh, how I started with this thing was basically I made a, uh, a three-legged stool out of wood. And then, as you can see, all the rock formation is made out of a spray foam. Uh, it's made by Loctite. It's, it's like uh, great stuff for filling in gaps and everything like that. So that's what we used to spray it with. And once that was fully cured, I was able to go in and carve out the uh, rock formation. There's a few uh, pieces I used of the polystyrene foam board insulation as well as this base here. But uh, I'm just going to kind of give you a 360 of it. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. I've got another section I need to complete for Joe Fest. But uh, I'm going to get my assistance here to just show you the play value of this and just to help you see the scale of it. Okay, so basically we see this. There's three sections all together underneath the pterodrome. So if you guys could hold some of these for me. And you that. pull down that lever and and you see an other lever. Yeah. And you want to show how, you know, the fire bat gets launched? Uh -huh. Okay. There we go. Cool. Okay. Pull it back up. As you can see, when he when he pulled that lever, it's it's very solid. It doesn't rock around or anything like that. So I'm just going to spin this for you to show you all the sides of it. Here's the second section here. More rock detail and there's going to be, uh, I'm going to add a uh, kind of a laboratory type area down here. None of the doors are hindered from opening. I know I had a good question about the fueling uh, stations. And somebody said, how are you gonna fuel up the vehicles and everything with it being off the ground like this? And I just kind of figured, you know, it'd be used for maybe trouble bubbles or fang, mini copters, things like that. So still a work in progress, guys. Okay, finally, I'm gonna show you the last section, which is why I say it's still a work in progress. This section right here, it's two levels. It's going to be a good place to display troops and everything. It's got a little ladder. Now, you can see this is the spray foam that I use, unfinished here. This is before I carve and paint. So this, this piece is going to come out really easily because I'm going to have a, a small lighting system in here. Okay? Yeah. So, and you can see... Basically, I've, I've got the three legs and the, the platform, the wooden platforms for the base. But uh, these are pieces of polystyrene foam. And this is going to be real easy, like when you have the lights, you need to change the batteries and so forth. So, that's basically it, guys. Like I said, this is going to be on display at Joe Fest this uh, June 21st and 22nd. So... Hope you can come out and see it, and it'd be nice to meet you guys and talk about Joe's. Thanks for watching. 